So the time has finally come. I for too long have moved hoses around my shop from tool to tool and it's one of those things that you just sort of live with and you every time go, I should do dust collection. So the time has come. Um, we did a really great 3D model of the shop in SketchUp or Fusion 360, I believe, and everything is completely to scale. We're gonna run four inch drain pipe. It's a little bit smaller diameter than four inch schedule 40 PVC, but I think it's gonna work a lot better with the kind of stock fittings that you can buy from Rockler or PowerTech. I have a two horsepower Senkong dust collector. It's got tons of power and it's a small shop, so I'm not too worried about large diameter piping. This was a much, much less expensive solution, so I think uh, it's going to be great. One of the things to remember when you're doing dust collection is to avoid hard 90s. All of my fittings are 45s and we'll put a pipe in between so we can get 90 turns. The, the T's have these soft 90 degree turns. And that's so that you don't, a hard 90 limits power and it limits airflow. So you wanna make sure that you restrict airflow as, as little as possible. So we're gonna start off by marking the studs in our wall. We're gonna put the piping uh, up with straps and we're gonna run all our piping first with the T's in and then we'll go back and put in blast gates and things like that. So let me show you how we get started. Here we go. So we got the straps put up on the walls here. Let me show you how those look there. We've got the uh, them all up and down the walls. And now we're gonna start cutting up this piping here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and chop up our four inch drain pipe on the uh, 12 inch miter saw. We're gonna go ahead and call out measurements. Josue is gonna call out measurements from the wall. I'm gonna cut it up and we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything together using this PVC cement. We might use some silicone caulking, but I think this should be enough to keep it airtight. If not, we'll go back and silicone caulk everything. So let me show you how we're gonna get that done. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these 45s on. Here's a good little trick. So basically the way this works is you coat the inside of this, the outside of this, and moving from piece to piece, we're building backwards from the back of our uh, system all the way to the dust collector. And this is going to allow me to sort of end in the right place. It'll let me make some last minute decisions on where the dust collector goes without being committed to it before I start. Uh, great little tip here is use the writing in the on the pipe as a way to align your connector pieces. So the connector pieces have these little guys on them and then there's writing on the pipes. And if you align those perfectly, then your 45s and all your Y connectors are gonna be aligned correctly. So let me show you how I glue these up. Pretty simple, just sorta goop it on. I'm not trying to win any art awards here. Glue that on and then same thing outside of the pipe just like this, and you should get a little squeeze out. We're gonna line our writing with the mark on the edge of our 45, and then just hold those together for about 30 seconds. Whew, man, this stuff really uh, makes you feel funny in all the right places. And you can see here, I've got squeeze out all the way around my joint, blue everywhere, which is kind of the point. So we're gonna go ahead and, and put this up. So we've got most of the tools plumbed, I guess you would call it. And this is our last long run here. We'll put in one more short section with a Y and then we're gonna get to mounting the dust collector on the wall and running hoses and blast gates to all the tools. Good. Okay. I find when putting these straps on, I find the hole that just about touches when you wrap it around with the wall tight, 
and I use that pole for the screw and then usually it'll just pull itself tight. So we're gonna go ahead and duct tape all the runs to our tools in case it's something we wanna change later. The stuff all around the room I'm pretty set with, but for now I'm not quite sure if this is gonna be my tool arrangement, so we're gonna duct tape everything. And then, you know, if I get to a point where I'm really happy with it, I'll go ahead and glue everything up. But this stuff is gonna create an airtight seal and it's gonna work great. Okay, so we've got all of our dust collection piped throughout the shop, and now we're gonna turn this single-stage dust collector into a two-stage dust collector. I've got the Oneida Dust Deputy, we've got a bucket here. Um, so we're gonna take the, the impeller off, put it on top of the uh, Cyclone, and then hook our filters back up. I think this is gonna be a really great system, and the only thing I'm gonna change is I'm gonna go ahead and put a clear window in here. I'll take a piece of acrylic and silicone it right here so I can see when the bucket's full. Other than that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and change all this over. So, cue the time lapse. Okay, so didn't quite go as we planned about keeping everything on the cart. It just, this was way too heavy for the Cyclone. So we built this very temporary thing here and we're gonna build a little thing for it once we get everything set the way we want it. I got this three-way adapter here which will go in here and then one side will go over to the jointer, the other side will go to the rest of the system and then this middle one will become like a cleanup wand, uh, we'll run uh, blast gate off this with a hose and a, a cleanup stick so it'll be a cool little feature I guess. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and connect this over here. We're going to leave this on the cart for now just until again we get everything set up uh, the way we want it we know it works and then we're going to hook up the jointer and the main system here and then we'll be ready to do some testing. So let me show you how I get that done. Okay, so here's a cool little trick when you need to put on a dust collection bag and you're by yourself. Get a few neodymium magnets. And what you're gonna do, is take them, and you just stick your bag right there. One of your magnets. Just 
Go on there. Take your other one. Put it there. And then you can just go around on the part of the bag you can see. Make sure everything is all good. There you go. Easy as that. So I'm really excited. The dust collection system is just about done. There's a few things that we need to do. Uh, I was missing a couple parts. A few things we need to make permanent, but other than that, it's on and working. I'm gonna take you through it and we're gonna do a couple tests. I'm gonna show you why I did what I did and talk about kind of two-stage dust collection. But first I want to say I just upgraded my camera and I think the quality of this video is a lot better. Let me know what you think. And if you're new here, please subscribe. The quality of content's only gonna go up from here. Your support means the world to me and I love making videos. So uh, please check me out on Instagram, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. So, uh, click the smash button or whatever they always say. But let me take you through dust collection and show you how it works. The heart of everything is this two horsepower Singkong uh, impeller, which goes to this three-way system. This is for the jointer. Uh, this is going to be a dust collection wand. And then this goes to the main system. This is the Cyclone and the bucket where the chips are collected. Two horsepower dust collection, and this is uh, one of the things I have to change very quickly here, is this needs to go up on the wall. We just didn't quite have the parts we needed to do that. But the reason you do two-stage dust collection is the filter here will fill up with fine, fine, fine dust very quickly in a single stage dust collector. And this limits the capabilities of your of your system to move air. And so with a two-stage dust collection, you have the Cyclone here, which collects most of the chips. I'd say so far, just based on my test, it's like 99%. Uh, and only the really, really, really light stuff will go here to the, to the bag. And so that keeps your filter from getting clogged and has your system running at full capacity for much, much, much longer. So let me take you through how it works. So here's the jointer hose. And I ran a hose because it's a really short run here. So I didn't think that having two 90s and a bunch of uh, PVC drain pipe would be a good idea. Um, the system then goes the other way to the sander here, which we're still waiting on the two and a half inch hose for that. And then to my drill press table saw setup here, which I accidentally put an extra blast gate in there, which, oh well, it's already in there, so it's just gonna live open all the time. Um, from there, it goes to the bandsaw, and I ran this Y that goes to both dust collection ports here, and then it comes up along the wall and goes up over the door, and goes over here to the planer and drill press. It runs a soft, two soft 45s over here to my drum sander and then it's capped off there in case I want to ever add to the system. So now onto the test. You're gonna love how cool this thing is. I really, really like how this thing works. So let me show you first by we're gonna cut something here on the table saw. So we're gonna start by cutting a scrap piece of plywood I have and checking out how much dust comes out of it. Now I'm not gonna stop or cut the camera in any way. I may speed it up so we don't waste a bunch of your time, but then we'll take a look at how much dust is left. So here we go, there is very, very, very little dust here. 
see there's a little bit there but there's almost none on the table pretty incredible pretty incredible before with uh, when I just had it as a single stage collector that would have just there would have been dust everywhere so now let's uh, get a pile of dust and I'll show you how it works okay so I've got my dust collection wand hooked up and this is pretty much the entire contents of my old one horsepower Powermatic dust collector I put it in the bin here we're gonna suck it up there's a uh, it's kind of hard to see but there's very very little dust in there maybe an inch worth of dust in the bag right now we're gonna suck up this whole bucket and see where we end up so that was an entire dust collectors bag full of dust almost a full bag and you can see in here now there is about I'd say it went up about half an inch um, it's kind of hard to tell but very very little went in there so once again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.